everyone, costume teacher here, and I'm here today to read to you Humphrey's Guide to the Care and Feeding of Humans, which is found at the end of the world according to Humphrey. All right, there are just a couple of vocabulary words in this part that I want to make sure you are all familiar with. The first one is entertain. Can everyone say entertain? Entertain means to provide someone with amusement or enjoyment. <laughs> We've got a clown or like a movie theater, all of which entertain us. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> and our other word is technical. Can you all say technical? Technical means requiring special knowledge to be understood. All right, so let's hear what Humphrey thinks are some of the key pieces to handling a human. Hmm. <laughs> So this is Humphrey's Guide to the Care and Feeding of Humans. Number one, like hamsters, humans come in many, many sizes, shapes, colors, talents, and tempers. If you judge them by looks alone, you'll miss out on knowing some wonderful people. Well, Humphrey certainly learned that, right? That you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Number two, humans like to be entertained and it doesn't take much to entertain them. Just squeak or swing or spin, they'll love it. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> Number three, humans are pretty entertaining themselves. They can sing, dance, tell jokes, and balance brooms. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> well, maybe except for that last part. I don't know. Can you balance a broom on your head like Aldo can? <laughs> Number four, all humans really, really, really need someone to listen to their problems. Preferably someone small and furry. <laughs> Wasn't well, that the truth? Sometimes just having someone to listen to your problems, even if they can't fix them, helps a lot. Number five. Even really important humans, like principals, have problems and need help. As we saw in the book, teachers and principals and parents and students, everyone has some problems that they're dealing with. And talking to someone can help. Number six, rubber bands hurt. Do not shoot rubber bands at one another. Unless it's absolutely the only weapon you have against a creature much bigger than you. <laughs> Let's just stick to a no-no on shooting rubber bands. Okay. <laughs> Number seven. Humans are not very good at figuring out technical things like how to fix a broken lock. Guilty as charged again. <laughs> but it came in handy for Humphrey, did it not? Number eight, humans have unlimited access to all kinds of yummy foods. So be 
nice to them. I mean, if that's not a poster for being nice to your parents, I don't know what is. Because they have the yummy foods. Number nine. If you are nice to humans, then they will be nice to you. So nice, they might even build you a playground. <laughs> Which is exactly what Mr. Brisbane did for Humphrey. And number 10, humans have good memories. Even if they go far away and teach in another country, they will not forget you. And believe me, you won't forget them either. Oh. That's Humphrey talking about how he won't forget Miss Mac. But Miss Mac won't forget him either. Which is the same with you and your teacher. Sure, you're in this class this year, but your teacher is going to remember you for years and years. And so will you. You'll think back on this year and think, wow, I sure loved this or that about the class. Most importantly, remember, you can learn a lot about yourself by, let, by getting to know another species, even humans. <laughs> I hope that you think about some of the things that Humphrey has asked us to ponder and to think about. Especially that even if you're little and you feel insignificant, you can make a big difference in this world. And that the memories that you're making along the way will last for years to come. And that even the slightest thing can brighten someone's day. So don't be afraid to try to make someone smile or make someone feel a little happier, or make yourself feel a little happier. It's worth it. And when you learn about the people around you, just like Humphrey did, you learn to appreciate them a little more, and you understand everyone a little more. And that makes life a little more fun, a little more special, and you realize all of the wonderful things and the people around you. I hope you've enjoyed this book and coming together as a school to read it in all of our classrooms has been such a special experience. And there's so many more Humphrey books. So I hope you check those out and uh, find all of the other adventures that Humphrey has with his teacher and his classmates. And if you're reading some other books or starting to do some things to prepare for the spring part of the year and the end of the year, you remember that every part of the year is an experience and that we're all in this big school world together and that we can do our, our part to make it a wonderful year. And it might feel small, but it turns into something big. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your year. And I hope to see you again for another story time very soon. Bye everyone.